20 years at the helm, Anna. He brought oligarchs to the heel, saw the collapse of the ruble, fought conflicts on multiple fronts, and obviously outlasting nearly all other major world leaders. But three themes that are really worth highlighting could potentially be brought up in questions today I want to discuss. Energy, one, that brings me to 2005. He signs that Nord Stream deal with Germany. And of course, now we're just weeks away from completing the second gas pipeline. Halima Croft at RBC calls him the world's energy czar. No wonder why. He spent tens of billions of dollars new pipelines, bringing Russia's main export gas, key markets in Europe, and recently what we saw as well in China. Then, of course, 2014, crucial for Russia, the annexation of Crimea. That really shot, sent shockwaves to this post-World War II order, brought an onslaught of sanctions from the West, and that helped send the ruble crashing. And then finally, in very recent times, Russia being accused of meddling in the U.S. election, which by now, few American leaders other than President Donald Trump on occasion dispute. So you can expect a lot of questions around these sanctions, energy, election meddling. But I'm interested as well as what he has to say for his promise that he made last year at this exact event. Putin said that Russia will grow 1.8 percent, but Bloomberg survey says in reality this isn't even likely to exceed 1.3 percent. And the IMF says his target, the government's target for plus 3 percent over the next few years is just out of reach. The question then becomes is how much will the economics of the Russian state weigh on his popularity, especially as he marks these 20 years in power?